All right, so I finally watched Claymore, and I liked it. I thought it was cool. Um, you know, the most messed up thing is that there's no season two. There's clearly more to the story than just season one. Season one literally ended to where you can definitely continue it. But it ended to where you can just leave it as is. But it really ended in a way where you have to continue this. But they can't really continue it because there's no extra mega content to finish up a season two. And I'd rather them just leave it as is instead of the studio trying to freestyle and potentially fucking some stuff up and doing their own original take. But I thought that was fine. But if they really did want to stretch this, I think they could have took the approach of actually making season one about Teresa and Claire, right? Claire's still the main protagonist, but Teresa can be leading it for the first season. And then you get to the end, which segues right into Claire. Then you go into season two where she meets Rocky, all that. Basically season one that we got. It's just the parts of Teresa and Claire, which I thought was really good. Teresa and young Claire gets a bunch of development in season one. You set up uh, Teresa's motivate. You set up, you know, Ter uh, Claire's motivations for why she wants to do what she wanted to do. And there's a lot of side characters in here. They're also supporting characters, but supporting characters of Claire. The, you know, uh, with that, those the group of uh, Claymores that she makes a little pact with because they, you know. Some of those characters, they didn't get as much development, but Claire, Rocky, Teresa, you know, they got the most development out of any character in the show, and Teresa's barely in the show. She just shows up with some flashbacks, but the other characters, the other female characters, they really don't get that much, uh, you know, character development in general. But still, I thought the show was good. Um, Claire, cool protagonist, but that fool Rocky, bruh. Man, that nigga Rocky always like, Claire, 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 my Claire. Even though he was clingy and stuff and all that, and that shit kind of got on my nerves, hey, he was right or die for Claire, bro. He was ready to fight, too. Any of the Claire Moores, anybody else disrespect her, she like, man, don't talk to my girl like that, bro. I'm really going to smack the, smack, smack the mess out of you. And Rocky wasn't no strong dude. You know, he wasn't no chump. He was just really clingy, but... He was a ride or die, bro. He was really, you know, he really wanted that Claire. And he, oh, he gonna get him some, bro. He gonna tear that. <sighs> ah. Hopefully, Rocky is tearing up, you know, tearing that up right now. That's what I hope. He was annoying. But you cannot take away the fact that Rocky is a ride or die dude. And he will die for Claire. He got her back, bro. I like that. He clinky, but he got her back. Claire.